Hey, you guys. What's up, fam? So, yeah, I am on here tonight. The Lord actually led me on here tonight. And if you guys hear that little... <laughs> That's uh, Bo. He loves, at this time of night, he loves to just go a little crazy. He bites everything, his bed. He gets the little zoomies. And so I let him just kind of zoom it out and then he's ready for bed. Um, but I wanted to come on here and share with you guys um, as I felt led, as I'm prompted by the Holy Spirit to come on here and share just a bit about what is going on because. You guys know I love to be transparent and real on this channel, and he is, he, this is him playing, you guys. I don't know if he's, I don't know if you can see him. He's, <laughs> he's in his little bed. I don't know. I think he lost his toy somewhere. Um, so yeah, as I am led to share, I'm not going to share in detail everything, but I am going to share just what. God wants me to share with you guys because this is a journey, y'all. This is a journey. This is a trusting process and walk with the Lord. And I wanted to come on here and share a bit of like what has been happening in my life and being transparent with you guys. Um, because yes, there's amazing things of the, you know of what God does and like you guys. He's so chatty today. <laughs> um, and so. He, there's like the, the, the goodness of God and God is good all around. Even in the midst of storms, God's with us and he's all around. Um, but then there's moments that you have to take big faith steps. And God says, you know, have faith the size of mustard seed. In these last few days or week or so, should I say, I've been taking, you know, faith steps the size of a mustard seed that lead into obviously bigger faith steps. And so, um, obviously many of you guys know, if you don't know, like part of my story was, you know, me coming out to California and I've been here for almost a year now. Wow. It's mind blowing to me how time flies by. And, um, obviously I moved out of my last roommate situation. Um, I was led to move out in August. And so I've kind of just been like here back and forth. Um, I haven't found a place yet. I'm actually, I'm waiting in the Lord. I'm trusting God because one thing, if you know about me, is that I walk by obedience. And I know you guys understand this because we're all in this walk together. Um, and so obviously like nothing has come up yet. And so I, and instead of being in a place of worry and being anxious and stressed out because I can get there if I let myself, I know that is trusting God because he wants to provide in a way that it's not in my own ability nor strength. And so to people, I probably look crazy. Like I've gotten told so many times by even other Christians, even other believers, like maybe you should move out of, out of California, go back to Texas, much more affordable there. And I never have peace with the advice. I never have peace because if God's telling me one thing, but these people are telling me something else. I'm going to go with what God's saying because he knows me better. And I've seen God's hand in my life so many times in powerful ways, you guys, because only God can do that. Only God can be God. And when I allow God to be God, he shows up in miraculous ways. And so I just wanted to share this testimony really quickly and I won't be long. Um, I'm, I'm like back at the beginning of when I first moved here, kind of just going from hotels, Airbnbs, back and forth. But I have a lot of peace, y'all. I have so much peace. Like, even though I may not see the next step right now in the waiting and in the trusting God, I have so much peace. And only God can do that. And I know I've gotten a lot of, like, messages and encouraging um, just like emails and, and DMs and messages from you guys saying, I like, it's amazing how you can still get up and share your testimony all while going through what you're going through. And it's by the glory and grace of God. I've had much and I've had less and I know what it's like to be humbled. And in this situation, the situation that I'm in is a humbling situation. It's humbling me to understand that I don't need the things that I thought that I needed. I don't need certain materials. I don't need this. I don't need that. It's nice to have things, 
but it's another thing to think that you need them. I know, Bo agrees, he agrees. <laughs> and so I, I've, I'm realizing how fruitful it is to have the Lord in any circumstance and to walk with the Lord through any storm, through any valley. And um, I'm actually waiting to check into my hotel for whatever reason. It's, it's not a hotel, it's an Airbnb. And like, it's just like after a certain time, I don't know why, but um, it's just a humbling experience. And so today I'm gonna be very honest. I sat at the beach today. I sat in my car with Bo and I just sat there, but I, I had a lot of peace sitting there. And um, as I was sitting down, I just, I heard the Holy Spirit tell me, I want you to get into a posture of prayer. I want you to get into a posture of just a, of listen to worship and pray in the spirit. And I did exactly as he told me to. And so, um, Bo, what are you doing? It's getting a little crazy right now. Here. And so, um, I, that's exactly what I did. I asked uh, you guys, it didn't even take 30 seconds and I did it out of obedience, but I did it out of like, let me rest with God. Let me meditate on the Lord and, and in him and, and spend this time wisely. And I was just, I just put my head back and I just said, I'm going to listen to some, I, I like to listen to worship instrumentals, um, because it's, it puts me in such a, like a, a, a heart posture of like inviting the Holy Spirit. In. And so I just sat there and I said, I'm going to meditate and I'm just going to close my eyes and I heard my phone go off, and as I looked at my phone, I saw a donation. And um, when I tell you guys, I thought I was going to sleep in my car tonight, but I was prepared for that. I was okay with that. I was, like, making the uh, my little bed back there. <laughs> and I was like, if I have to sleep in my car, I'm going to sleep in my car. It's, it's fine. And um, I shared this out of just, wow, God is so good. And so when I least expected it, but I was in a heart posture of obedience and prayer, the Lord came through. And he provided for me to be able to stay somewhere. And not only that, like, it was enough for me to actually get the puppies shots this weekend. And that was something that I was like, okay, like, I got my dog, <laughs> but he needs his shots. Like, I'm very adamant about things like this. And so um, it was more than enough for, for that, for what I needed. And I want to share that with you guys, that God gives us what we need for today. And I'm seeing that every day in my life, how God shows up for today. He tells us to truly not worry to truly not be anxious about anything about tomorrow so <laughs> so i won't be long just because um he is he's i think he wants to play but i, I share this with you guys so to let you guys know don't worry about tomorrow don't worry about what you're gonna eat don't worry about what you're gonna wear um the you know the worst is the pagans go after all these things and so instead of worrying about tomorrow about the next day about next week about what, how you're gonna pay your bills about all these things god already knows god already understands your situation he knows that you're going through it he's with you through it and there's a lesson that we get to learn through it and it's also not only to discipline us but to wait on the lord and i know it could be like right to the brink of where you want to give up right to that very brink but when you feel that way god comes through and there's something he wants to do in your story and so i shared this with you guys because god's good He's faithful. I have peace in the midst of circumstances. I'm not moved at all. This just increases my faith even more. And I just feel led to share this with y'all. So I love you guys. Um, I'm praying for Beamer Light. God's doing amazing things with Beamer Light. And in due time, I will share those things. But I love y'all so much. And I will talk to you soon. God bless.